This is Bloomfield Superintendent Andy Dole. As you know, the Bloomfield Central School District community recently approved a new capital renovation project. In looking at ways to maximize the funding for this project, the district recently released a request for proposal for an energy performance contract, or EPC. Through an energy performance contract, the district will be able to capture incentives, implement cost savings, efficiencies, and better maximize the funds approved for our capital project. Day Automation was recently awarded the energy performance contract, and we've asked Day Automation to share the details of how this EPC will work. Hi, this is Jeff Day. I'd like to thank the school district and the community for all the hard work and cooperation that's gone into bringing back school. I'd like to take a moment to tell you about something very exciting that's happening at the Bloomfield Central School District. In the midst of all the activities surrounding the school reopening, the district has not lost focus on their responsibility to be both fiscally responsible and environmentally conscious to our Bloomfield community. The Bloomfield Central School District is eligible for funding aid to help meet those goals, and you can help. I'll explain how. With each capital project, we challenge ourselves to find the best ways to enhance the educational experience. As I'm sure you're aware, the community approved an upcoming capital renovation project that will improve the buildings and add innovative learning spaces like the new STEM and hydroponics lab. At the same time, the district looks to introduce updated energy efficient heating and cooling equipment and LED lighting that's better for the environment and reduces our energy costs so more of our tax dollars can be spent on the students and their educational experience at school. The Bloomfield Central School District and School Board have agreed to use an energy performance contract to meet their goals. Now, an energy performance contract, or EPC for short, it's a project funding mechanism that's used by many school districts in New York State. And here's how it works. The district has utility bills just like you and I do. An EPC helps the district to purchase energy efficient equipment like LED lighting, better heating and cooling equipment, and make other system improvements that save energy. Engineers calculate how much energy the district will save over the next 18 years. The New York State Education Department then certifies those findings. There's no risk to the district since all of these savings are guaranteed. The district then gets all the money that they'd be saving over that 18 year period right now. That money will be used to purchase these high efficiency lighting and HVAC equipment that they need. Here's how you can help. To make a good situation even better, the entire EPC project is funded in part by New York State. The district is reimbursed at 90% of the school's aid ratio. The district can receive 100% aid if the public votes yes on the project. Thank you for your consideration and look for future updates on when the voting will happen. Please stay safe and go Bombers. Thank you, Jeff. As you heard, this is an exciting opportunity for the district to demonstrate fiscal responsibility while achieving energy efficiencies which will also reduce our carbon footprint. While the project does not require a public vote, approval for this project will allow the district to be reimbursed at 100% of our aid ratio. The public vote on this project will be October 20th from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. in the high school, middle school back gallery. The vote will be in person, but you can request an absentee ballot if needed by contacting Debbie Robinson in our district office. We'll be taking all necessary precautions and we'll be implementing all recommended safety protocols for the in-person vote on the 20th. These protocols include enforcing the use of face coverings and social distancing, as well as the use of temperature scanners and hand sanitizing stations. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact our district office. Thank you.